By now, I hope, I trust that you are beginning to realize just how much authority, how much life, how much of God you have in you, how much capability and capacity you have. The same Jesus that was with the Father in the beginning. We read this in John chapter 1. The same Jesus that was with the Father in the beginning is the same Jesus that came from the Father. And in the beginning when everything was created, everything was created with Him. And everything was created for Him. Then He became flesh, dwelt amongst us, and we could see His glory. Then I've been talking to you about how God really wants us to connect with our world because we're living in flesh. And Jesus, He prayed in John chapter, John chapter 17. He said, Father, I'm praying that you don't take them out of the world because if the Father was to take us out of the world and answer Jesus' prayer, then, then their physical bodies, the disciples' bodies would have to leave the planet. I'm not asking you to take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. What was he saying? Protect them from corruption. Protect them from wickedness, twisted ways. Protect them from the dis disconnected life that says, I have a self-existent life rather than I'm living with the expression, the full living expression of life itself. That's what the, the Passion Translation, how he puts it in John chapter 1. And so part of what we've been talking about is how do I connect with this living expression of life that is the continuous perfect state of being that is in me? How do I live this in the world that is a corrupted world? Well, I've been sharing with you that wisdom will cry out. Understanding will lift up her voice. I will speak of excellent things. My opening my lips will come right things. My mouth will speak truth. The rest of verse 7 in Proverbs chapter 8 says, Wickedness is a, an abomination to my lips. In other words, I'm not going to speak corruption. I'm not going to speak things that are disconnected from the continuous perfect state of being. I'm not going to speak twisted ways, wicked ways, alternative ways. That's a really good way. Of, I'm not going to talk alternative ways to the continuous perfect state of being. The next verse says, all the words of my mouth are with righteousness. Nothing crooked or perverse is in them. So wisdom will speak all the words that wisdom will speak, will speak the right ways of God. So righteousness meaning uprightness, correctness, the right way of God, being in proper standing, proper connection, proper orientation, proper uh, positioning with God. So out of my mouth, word, all the words of my mouth are with proper positioning, with proper correctness, with proper order. So the continuous perfect state of being comes out of the order of my mouth. With my open lips, they will cry out, they will speak out wisdom and understanding. That means... At any situation that I walk into that is a corrupted situation, I must assume at any given time, unless something is in line with what the Word of God is wanting for my life, I must assume that there is a level of corruption in it. Therefore, if I continuously speak the words of God out, the will of God out into a given situation, then I am sure that the wisdom, the crying out, the speaking of words are going to make the ways right. So if I'm in a business deal and I know that God has blessed the work of my hands and I've, I know that God has put me into a situation where prosperity and blessing and increase are the order of my life and suddenly I see that the deal is not going my way or it might be going somewhere else or it might be doing 
something that, that is not to my benefit. I need to cry out. I need to speak out words. I need to let the right ways of God, first of all, connect my spirit and then connect me to the order of God. Once those things are in a sync with God, it will change the dynamics of that situation. I've watched it at work in my own life without having the fullness of this revelation. I've watched it at work in my life where in business I, I would see deals literally almost escaping my hands. And then I made sure that my spirit man was aligned with a continuous perfect state of being, that he wanted his order, his blessing, his ways in my life. And as I spoke out words, that deal came into alignment with what was in my life for me, for the order of God for me. And it changed the deal. And I got the deal, even though others were convinced they were going to get it. All the politics were against it. God and the words that came out of my mouth were righteous. They made it correct. They made it aligned to the blessing and the will of God in my life. Wow, we got some wonderful way of walking with God. I look forward to more time together.